Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to go over the top three recording software to use in 2018. So these are softwares will go over the recordings of gaming and also just regular screen recordings. All of the softwares I'm going through in this tutorial are for free. And I'm going to go through all of the options and um, advantages of these programs so that you can use the one that fits best with you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So on number three, I actually had a hard time choosing between two. I have XSplit and Fraps. So to start off here is XSplit. XSplit, I used to use it in the past, but like in the beginning after Camtasia Studio, I used to use this. It's pretty good. It has pretty much the same features as OBS. It's the same idea. So here you have the, what's it called? The broadcaster. Now you can see down here, the broadcaster is the more like advanced uh, option of it. So as you can see here, powerful live streaming and recording software. Choose product rich video content with the video games you love. Of course, also screen recording. And the second option was the Gamecaster, the Xplit Gamecaster. And that's the one right here. I assume it's their basic, their standard one. It's the world's easiest way to start streaming or recording your PC or console games. So you can also stream with it, which was pretty well known. So, and it, it supports Twitch, as you can see here. And you can also just regularly record. This really comes back to like OBS. It's, it's the same idea. So this is a really good one. I would definitely advise you to, yeah, to try and, you know, just look if it goes well with you. So as I said, the, the other one that I put on free, which I was pretty hesitant about, is Fraps. Now, the reason I put these two on number three is because they both have pretty much the same capacities and yeah, they are in the same range of popularity and uh, the, yeah, the numbers who, the people who use this. So Fraps, you might know when you saw a video today, uh, not a lot anymore, but like in the past when you saw this, this number, you know, this uh, case it's 99, but you saw it in the corner of a recording, some video, for example, on YouTube. At that moment, you knew you used Fraps. I, I kind of felt, yeah, forced, not really forced, but obligated to like put this in my top three because yeah it is something that's still used nowadays and it's pretty useful uh as i said yeah disadvantages such as having that thing in the corner all the time believe you can't remove it it's pretty annoying but it has a lot of advantages so as you can see it has a simple layout it's really easy to use recordings are going pretty fast you can record basically whatever you want it's not really difficult to use and yeah if you want to record something and you're just starting fraps really you could really use it it's, it's a good one Moving on to the number two of this list, we have Shadowplay. Now, before going into this one, I do have to say some things about this. You have to have a really good graphic card, and I believe it has to be even be from NVIDIA. Um, yes, you can see you can record it, uh, also so instant replay and record. Um, yeah, this is also like you can capture it for as high as you want. It captures highlights and everything, of course, everything you do, like your kills. It just basically records your screen in a really high quality. And the FPS in this video, as you can see, it's really good. And yeah, it has an editor, I believe. You can just, uh, as you can see, a kind of library, I believe, or a gallery where your videos will be stuck. You can just, yeah, play your games and record. It's really easy. You can also make 4K screenshots. Uh, as I said, it's a really high definition uh, program to record your videos with. Though I'm going to something now that is a big requirement for some of you out there. I understand that. The disk space and everything should be good. There's no problem with that. Um, this file size isn't that big too. Of course, depending on how long you record, but it should be enough if you have like, it should be good if you have like a 500 to a terabyte uh, disk, that would, that would be more than enough actually to make these recordings and everything. But the thing is with you, this program is that you need a really high definition card. As you can see, it supports like a lot of GeForce, GTX, Titan Xs, and just, it's it's really, as I said, it's game optimization, okay? So it's really high recording, but actually only supports uh, NVIDIA graphic cards and just actually the best graphic cards in general, I believe. And uh, yeah, that is so the disadvantage of this, but if you have a really high computer of ga uh, gaming and that you can play like a lot of games really high and you just have, yeah, a GeForce or a Titan or just any, any of these series, you are definitely be able to use this software and it is so good it is actually the best quality on all of these the most highest one and yeah if you're into gaming and you have a good gaming pc this is just definitely the program for you as it will record in like the highest definition possible and 60 fps without problem it will be so smooth and good recordings it will be really good putting it on number one some people might have seen coming at obs and it just it is the best one out there. I'm using it currently. It's the one that I've been using for years now. I used to use Camtasia in the beginning. That was my first one. And I basically already moved right away to uh, OBS after that. And this is just for me still the number one. And not only because it's my number one, I put that one. Because it is one of the most easiest programs to use. Um, it has a lot of advantages. I'm going through that, them a little bit. To start off, it has a really simple layout, as you can see. I mean, it might, might in the beginning you be like, oh, what? But here you can see start streaming is for streaming. This recording is just recording a gameplay, for example. Studio mode, I believe that is to, you can make adjustments like this one, you know. You can make some adjustments in the recordings and auto cam, I believe. Webcam and uh, some bars with your 
um, what is it called? It, it is really useful for str uh, for um, for Twitch and everything. They will know the studio mode. You can go through the settings, which is uh, a lot of settings that that I basically has also have a video on my channel, by the way. My actually my first video on this channel is about the best settings of OBS. So if you want to check that out and see a little bit more in depth how this number one uh, recording program is, be sure to check out that video. It's the very first video on my channel. You will just have to scroll down one time in my videos and you will see it popping up best settings for obs so yeah i don't have to go really in depth with that in this video i can't also because i didn't do it for the others too but yeah there are some settings and you can get a really high definition out of it that's all i can say to you but to continue um it's really easy you create a scene so in the scene you can make multiple options of recording those are the sources for example you call a scene you call games and then you come here you put overwatch um name it uh fortnite um but yeah and league of legends you can you can put it whatever you want and you're gonna record it and if you click on it you have to be sure you're on the scene selected and you click for example this one is i don't know i said fortnite or so something like that and you click it and then you will see it actually appearing here this desktop audio so it has the audio like that you record when i click with my mouse uh when i type the things when there's a music playing when there's a video playing all of those sounds basically and then your mic of course that can be enforced with as you can see here voice meter for example or audio sit uh, as you can see some of the features here i basically went through them now but all of that is in the video of course be sure to check that out and yeah it is as it says here great professional productions it is definitely a professional program guys it is not for nothing on number one it's a free professional recording software to use definitely recommend this one and uh, don't hesitate to look into them uh, and that if you really want to um, take one of these free but they are definitely still the best recording softwares to use also in 2018 now but anyway i would say in conclusion to start off with the number threes the two ones the xsplit and uh, fraps so xsplit i will definitely recommend to use if you have a good computer pretty much and xsplit is basically the shadow play without the necessarement of having a graphic card that is like gtx of titan or something uh, of course you have to have a pretty decent computer to actually have some recordings that actually have 30 to 60 fps minimum x split definitely recommended fraps is like the minimum on this list i could say like lowest quality or just the least recordings would be done with fraps to be honest it's really good but uh, i tend just to take the most easiest recordings actually for shadow play as i said you have to have a good graphic card probably for the nvidia and it is probably a gtx or titan if you have so and you have a good computer then this is the program for you shadow play it has the best quality owns again of these free recording software so definitely advise you to go in depth with that if you have a really good computer and number one obs probably the most useful one actually because it can record high quality games and also just low quality uh, computers that just have to do a screen recording it can do anything obs uh, you have just to do some, some slightly changes in the settings but for the rest obs can barely everything uh, if you have a bad computer if you have a good computer doesn't matter obs studio is here and it has a really good program and for free as i said you can download on windows mac and linux so just go ahead and choose which one is best for you from these softwares i went through i hope i helped you out a bit these are the best softwares to use to record your screen in 2018 i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like it would be really nice subscribe to my channel would also be really nice and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye